Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza, this is the third hour of today. Up next, a different kind of food delivery app, and this one you're going to like this, Brian. This Ooh. one is trying to eliminate food waste and fight food insecurity at the same time. And I saw firsthand the impact they're making. It's phenomenal. We are back with our series, The Upside. There's a good chance you've used one of those food delivery apps, mm -hmm. but this one is a little different. I recently learned about an organization using an app to not only cut down on food waste, but also make sure that food gets to people who really need it. We are all wired to do good. Our volunteers just keep doing it week on, week off, and it's because they want to, and that gives me hope in the world. In cities all across the country, there are thousands of volunteers who are rescuing food. Fresh food that's being diverted away from landfills in an effort to feed people. And it's all made possible through apps like Food Rescue Hero, founded by food advocate Leah Lizarondo. How did food recovery become um, a passion for you? I read this report that said that we are wasting 40% of our food. 40%? Yes. In this country? In this country. Then it's enough food to feed everyone who's hungry four times over. Launched in 2016, the Food Rescue Hero platform supports food recovery organizations in the U.S. and Canada to help coordinate donations from local retailers. It then mobilizes volunteers to redistribute the food to communities in need. Just last year, their network of partners recovered over 50 million pounds of food. It's like any food delivery app that we use. They get alerted of surplus food where it's happening, and they can say, oh, that is close to me, I'll take it. Usually a rescue can be done in, you know, some as quick as 20 minutes, you know, mostly under an hour. The app aims to tackle food insecurity and climate change, where food waste makes up 8% of greenhouse gas emissions. It's the number one component in landfills. If food waste were a country, it will be the third largest emitter of greenhouse gases, third only to the U.S. and China. When you think about how much food waste there is, do you think it's a solvable problem? It's an absolutely solvable problem. We are also, unfortunately, one of the biggest causes of food waste. You know, when we go to the supermarket, when we go to the milk aisle, we'll go to the back of it and not, you know, take the ones in front. Oh my gosh, I feel so seen. I mean, everyone does it. If we change those behaviors, it will lessen the instance of food waste in the first place. Food Rescue Hero is also creating community. You use the word hero as opposed to volunteers. Why? Because they are. And we always think of heroes as it has to be this big act. But I think the real heroic thing is doing something every single day as often as you can. No one sees it. And you're just doing it. So then can I become a food rescue oh, hero? Oh, absolutely. Mel, I would love to introduce Colleen to you. Hi, Colleen. Nice She's to meet you. one of our amazing food rescue heroes. Can I rescue with you? Absolutely. Show me how this works. So you just go to the app. We're going to claim the rescue. And we get in the car and we start moving. OK. Here we go. Today's rescue, picking up prepared foods from a local hospital. Just pick it up. Yeah, just pick it up. It's amazing. Meatloaf, chicken. Wash. So you work, you've got three kids. Yep. Why do this? I see the need for it and I want to emulate it for my kids. And this simple task, 30 minutes, maybe an hour out of my day, is going to help feed our neighbors. Final stop Oasis, a social services organization that serves women and children in Patterson, New Jersey. I just want to say thank you. The fresh fruits and produce that you bring are absolutely gold to our community here who really don't have access to that. I'm so happy you like introduced this to me. This is so <laughs> wonderful. It's so good. Aww. That's brilliant. It's such a great idea. So a food rescue hero is is working to be in 100 cities by 2030. So you need the cities, you need the people to agree to, mm -hmm. to do sure, this. Sure. Um, special thanks to Table to Table for letting me tag along. They've rescued, they call it rescued, over 1 million pounds of food. This is just in northern New Jersey alone since using the Food Rescue Hero app for a year. So you have an organization who says, you know what, we love to donate food. Sure. Yeah. We need a conduit. We need help, right? right? So then the organization teams up with this app. 
app, if yeah. you will. And so all you have to do as a volunteer is just open your app, yeah. and it tells you. you it's powered by people who have the excess yeah. food yes. and the volunteers. Yes. And by the way, that's a great exercise to do with your small children. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Young children. And she does it after she drops off one of her kids to school. She has some downtime before she works, yeah. so she just opens the uh -huh. app. That's a That's great idea. Where she can, where Could she I can introduce help? it? Like, there's a market in my neighborhood. Can I, I ask think them if they want to join the They app? probably would be jumping for joy right now yeah. hearing you say that. I think once we start talking more about it, you see how much food at the end of the day, grocery yeah. stores, the waste. restaurants. Yeah. Yep. That's yep, amazing. we can donate it to wow. shelters huh. and all these other places. That was a it, terrific so. story. Yeah. And it's still fresh food. Fresh food? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, my gosh, the, the fruit and the produce mm -hmm. that we took today. Download the app, y'all. If you're good. watching or listening, download yeah. the app. When, when Craig breaks out the y'all, you know it's That's serious. <laughs> <laughs>